So I was browsing the Hearts of Iron 4 workshop, and I've come across another animal mod. It seems animal mods seem to be a recurring theme in, in Hearts of Iron 4. Today we have the Badger mod, the Republic of Badveria. I, I don't know why this needs to exist, but it does, so of course... We're going to take a little look-see. Uh, King Badger the First gives us a weekly national unity of... Ooh! 0.1%. We are currently democratic, and our leader is Badger Von Badger. Badge Varia is a very complex and fought-out country placed in modern-day Bavaria, and therefore the name Badge Varia. That's it, I guess. Okay, well, I guess we'll take a little look, and here we have the Kingdom of Badge Varia. I guess we'll just give it a go and see what happens. Also, by the time this video goes out, I will be in New York from Tuesday to Thursday at an event. If you want to know more, I'll probably be tweeting about it while I'm there, and I'll be back early Friday morning. Okay, so we actually start with 30 divisions, which definitely isn't overpowered at all, including handy badgers, badgers and badgers in tanks, and we also have an SS division because every badger needs an SS division. Oh, here we go. <gasps> There's also pigeons. So we have General Pigeon, General Badger. You know what, let's get the pigeon in the field. He's holding an AK-47, so clearly he's definitely a solid pigeon. Only two research slots. That's pretty typical with minor nations. And look, it's got a unique focus tree that you can just annex the German right. Wow. Oh, badge varia strong, or power to the king, or we do army reform and do a talk with the gen- But to start with, let's do politics in badge varia. Brilliant. Oh, we are lacking steel though, badgers don't appear to be able to get steel very easily. But our force of 269,000 badgers along with the SS division is fully equipped. And of course our manpower is definitely not over the top at all. Well, there we have Badger von Badger. Very good. Well, our capital is Munich. As of recording this, the mod currently has 17 current subscribers, one favourite, and 100 people have visited it. Okay, well, you know, if you want to check out the mod, then feel free. Or just watch this video, because I'll probably cover everything that happens. Not sure which way I want to go, either communist or fascist. I feel that if I go fascist, that might be the best thing. However, it does seem to favour everyone ha having be equal who have Badger Marks. Or we have Badger Heinrich. I think we'll help out others. And that gives us a recuperable population of 5%, which is very nice indeed. Well, looky 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 loo. On volunteer only, I have 1.1 million manpower. That's pretty good. Badgers are breeding quickly, it seems. So despite having a Field Marshal Pigeon, I don't actually have any Air Force whatsoever, so clearly the Pigeon doesn't have any flying brigades. My factories are a bit useless at the moment, as you can see I only have four and three, which isn't that powerful, but oh here we go! The BNP becomes the ruling party. So here we have, oh good lord, it's Badger Heinrich. If Badger Heinrich can lead us to victory. Spanish Civil War, as per usual, still happens. The Badgers weren't able to stop it. I have just banned communism. Oh, I could execute the king. We've got more badgers to send to the front. Off you pop. I've done it. I've become a major nation. Through a national focus, I have just done that. We've received major default status in the world. And I'm also going to do a talk with General Pigeon. Only takes seven days, so it doesn't take long. Oh, a talk with General Pigeon has led to him saying that he either wants to be leader of Badgeria or execute a civil war. I didn't even realise... Oh. General Pigeon will be arrested. Or General Pigeon becomes leader for the non-aligned. He will be he'll be arrested. Let's let's get rid of the, let's get rid of him. Bad news, we don't have any military staff, which could make things a little bit tricky for us. The badgers shall join the anti combatant pact. I think it might be time to execute the king. We need something to happen, really. Well, the king's gone, so all that does is just stops my national unity increasing. And now I'm stuck until I can do government reform. Might be here a while. Oh! They're gonna form a faction, perhaps? Ah! Finally some war! Japan has declared war on Zhan Zi. And China. Oh! Oh, what's gone on here? Oh! 
Bulgaria joined in the Novus Imperium Romanum. I was not expecting this. What have you done? Okay, well it seems, I, because I've been unable able to do anything, Germany's getting a lot more powerful. Mainly because I need to wait for democracy to be under 30% in order to do government reform, which is a pain in the arse. This, I don't understand how that would ever work, because the German Reich's always in an axis. So you would have to go down and annex everything. Oh, what the heck is going on? Oh, Italy's at war with Greece and Romania. So I think Italy's just screwed itself here. Oh dear, looks like the Germans have gone to war with Czechoslovakia. Ah, oh, now would be a very good time to declare war on Germany. However, oh boy, they're at war with the Allies. Uh, and they're justifying on Luxembourg. Brilliant. Ah uh, yes, Czechoslovakia is in the Allies and they're beating back Germany somehow. Oh, look at the losses of Czechoslovakia though. Damn. Luxembourg is also okay. Well, Germany's going full on ham in 1938. I have not seen this before. I don't know what's happening right now, but there's a civil war in Germany. I have no idea what's going on. This is the first time I've ever seen this. I don't... Oh, well... Oh, Hermann Goering's in chuck. What the heck's going on? Well, it looks like the German Reich is utterly screwed. That is... that... 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 that, that, that I, I have no words. Oh, look at this. We can invite Hungary to our faction. Come on in, boys. You can now be part of the Badger Alliance. Now, look at that. Glorious. However, because the German Republic is now all-powerful. I, I can't really do a whole lot to uh, attack them. Uh, attack anyone, really. I, I mean, I can justify on them. But something tells me they'll be guaranteed. Yes. So I'm unable to actually expand the Badger Alliance anywhere. So this is, this is how it actually exists and well, how it will remain. So I'm going to reload this and hopefully weird stuff doesn't happen. Okie dokie. So I finally got back to the point where we should have been back in 1936, instead I kind of went AWOL. Uh, so, so we're now going to annex Württemberg and see just how powerful the Badger Empire can get. Sorry, the Badger Alliance. This time with less Hungary. And through the power of national focuses, I've just taken Württemberg from the Germans. Very nice indeed. And I think we'll just go and annex Czechia. Yes. However, having this did not actually give me any factories, which is a which is annoying. I, I thought they would have had factories. Well, there we go. We now have annexed Cheshire, which we're now getting pretty large indeed. I think we'll just go with the annexation of Austria. Hopefully, yes, we'll do that before the Germans do. Nice. And we can actually build things, which is even better. Except not in Wuttenberg, that appears to have glitched. Oh, mod. Oh, oh wait, the Slovak Republic is also in the... Oh, okay. And bibbidi boobidi shibbidi boo we've gained Austria. Well, would you look at that? I didn't think the Germans would be so keen to be under the control of badgers, but clearly they are. Okay, Poland actually controls this, even though it... So to spice things up a bit, I've decided to actually, yes, go in for the civil war for fascism and actually see what happens here. Oh, Italy wants to send volunteers, of course. All are welcome. Well, that was a very quick civil war. Managed to actually do do pretty well there. And we are now once again the Bavarian Reich. Doesn't that feel good, everybody? Doesn't that feel good? And as Italy decided to send me volunteers, I think it's time to betray them and, and take theirs. Oh, indeed, we are angered by Italian posturing. How very dare they dare, dare oppose the Badgers. Alrighty, so we've gained justification. I guess we'll declare war on Italy and uh, expand the Badger Empire. Because badgers love pasta, apparently. Oh, well it looks like the Polish have formed their own faction. Good for them. But the Italians are still wasting a heck of a lot of equipment just trying to rush me. I mean they can they can take all they want they can take all the time they want. I've I've got plenty of equipment. All I needed was patience. And now Italy's gonna do something extremely stupid and decide to have war with Greece. And there we go, Italy's declared war on Greece. 
I believe that I'll make them at war with a few people. But wait, there's more! Mussolini, being the entire plonk of the idiots, has declared war on the UK. Ah, look at that. So Greece declared war, and now France is invading from <laughs> the other border because, of course, they're in the Allies. Hey, a bippity boppity boo. Well, it appears Italy still retains some of its territory. And I think that's where I'm going to end this little badger empire, as I've gone as far as the mod will really allow. Except if I want to ban fascism and communism, which I don't really. But we've had a civil war, we had a failed first attempt, and then we've got the brilliant Bavarian Reich. Badgerian Reich. Badgerian Reich, I should say. So, you know, feel free to link me more animal mods for the future. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day. Many thanks to Ivan, Wyatt, John, Mike, Adam, Miss Lexicon, Random the Randomer, Nicholas, Travis, Sam, and iSorry Productions for being ridiculous rounder supporters on Patreon. And many thanks to all the other patrons, too.